Welcome, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, everything in between. I am just about to head out to Egypt. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I've never been to Africa. Uh, I just felt itchy traveler's feet after being locked down for so long. Uh, I didn't even think that I was going to book it when I was just like trawling through the internet, but uh, I saw a place on Airbnb, man. It's, uh, it's fucking beautiful. Anyway, so there are a lot of new guys. A lot, of, uh, a lot of newbies over from True Geordie's podcast. And a lot of people just new to poker in general. And I've had so many questions of people being like, okay, I get you're not going to coach me one-on-one, -on -one, but how can I get better at poker? And normally I have an answer to this. You know, normally I can, you know, I'll be like, okay, you're at this point in your career. Maybe I'd suggest looking at this. Here's the next step. Here's the next thought process you can have. But now we have a new demographic of people who are completely new to poker. And I can't, with a genuine heart, recommend almost anything. Because, and I, I've got nothing against recommending competitors. You know, I, in many, many situations, I'll be like, I don't have the content for this. Maybe this will suit you more and it'll be a competitor. You know, I don't see it as a competitor. I just, I, I love just watching people flourish, no matter if they get it from me or if they get it from someone else. So... When looking at teaching somebody from scratch, I really, I don't think there's any good content out there. There are a couple of big names that, in my opinion, the, the way they teach poker really quells and quashes creativity. It, it, it just does, I, I don't think the people who, who teach it, I think they're very good at poker, but I don't think they understand why they're good at poker. I don't think they understand the, the duality between intuition and rationality. I don't think they understand the layering process so what I've decided to do is I'm going to make some kind of masterclass course thing. And I'll, make it, I'll make it cheap. It's not going to be free, unfortunately, because it you know, it's going to take some of my time. But I understand that people getting into poker don't have loads of money. Um, so it will be cheap. And it's just going to be building up from the absolute basics. You know, Here's the fucking rules. We'll make that one for free. Here's the, like, the first layer. Okay, Here are your opening ranges, like which hands you raise from which positions. And here's what you want to be thinking about. Here's what you want to be thinking when you're bluffing. Here's what you want to be thinking when you're value betting. There'll really just be like three things to think about. It'll be very, very simple. And then I'll layer and layer and layer and layer until I get to the point where I feel like you can now almost get to the point where you're a professional. And that's where I can throw you to my other masterclass where I, I really, really think highly of that masterclass that I've done. Uh, if you're already at that point and you're watching this, you, you can go check it out on epiphany77.com. Um, but what I will say in the meantime, whilst I whilst I make this course, is I have a Discord. I don't go on it too much, um, but there are a lot of people who are willing to to help newbies. Uh, I, I would say that the community that, that we've built seem to be very intent on compassionately and empathetically helping others to achieve their dreams and goals. So I'll leave a link to the Discord in the description box. Um, other than that, I will just say just experiment with it, you know, really look inwards and be like, okay, what do I feel like when I'm losing in this kind of situation? What kind of mistakes am I, do I see that I'm making? And just see if you have like a, a knack for the game, you know, like don't forget that poker is a game, just like chess is a game, just like bridge is a game. There is a strategy and you are a human being that is, is capable of rational deduction. You're not gonna be able to figure out like the highest level strategy unless you're a supercomputer but you will be able to figure out some things for yourself. Um, and until I come out with this course, I would, I would just recommend just asking people, like, what's the next layer? What's, what, what's the next thing I can be thinking about? You know, you want to be thinking about opening ranges, then maybe about sea betting, and then maybe you want to be thinking about getting a HUD. And all of these things, they sound very confusing, but you will eventually get used to what it all means. Um, secondly, I will say poker is a very, very spiritual journey if you want it to be. It doesn't have to be. You can call it an emotional journey, a psychological journey, but spiritually, in my opinion, is the most accurate. Uh, it really, it requires looking inwards so then you can look outwards because if you don't have an understanding of yourself, you're not going to understand how you interact with the world or, in this case, the game. Um, I do have a spiritual masterclass in regards to helping people further themselves in a professional setting, and you can find that on my website as well. Uh, link in the description. If you don't want to be spending money on it just now, really, I would say just pay attention to yourself. Like, what happened? Are you are you spending a lot of time getting angry or tilted? We call it in poker. Or are you spending a lot of time really feeling frustrated 
you're feeling lack of motivation, you're feeling loads of motivation, that's something you can, you can use as one of your strengths. These are all questions you want to be asking yourself with many, many, many more. You can be looking into meditation. I've got so many messages from people about how do I get into meditation. Um, again, the masterclass is definitely an option, but if not, just YouTube it, man. Just like meditation for, and then what are you struggling with? Anxiety, depression, insomnia, anything. Just meditation for you and find something that, that works for you. Um, you can just play around with it as well. Just do some breathing by yourself. See where your head goes. See what you can conjure up. It's just such a fun game once you get into it, man. Like it's 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 a it's a break away from the the everyday hustle and bustle of, of modern life, and you get to do these funny little empirical scientific experiments with yourself and spend some really good quality time with yourself, and it, it's truly enriching and. Honestly, it's what life is about. It's just like being in the moment with yourself, maybe with other people, and just enjoying yourself and having fun, being creative, ha having a relaxed time, and not having to always be doing something, not having to always feel bad about doing something or distracting yourself from Netflix or something like that. So I would highly recommend that. And uh, yeah, if I, if I manage to stay alive in Egypt and uh, all in one piece, I'll be back pretty soon to make some, some content. I'll start streaming again pretty soon. I just needed a, a break from poker because when I play poker high stakes, I put so much energy into it. And I played for like a month and a half and I was playing probably like 12 hours a day, maybe a bit less on average, maybe like 10 on average a day because I'm a shorter. And I mean, I'm sitting here in my fucking lotus position, for oming away and <laughs> singing to keep my energy up. If you've seen the True Geordie streams, you'll see how I really value keeping high energy uh, just throughout the whole stream, and it, it's uh, it's a difficult process, especially when you're playing high stakes, you're playing lots of tables, or if, even if you're just playing one table, it's so exhausting just to stare at the same thing for for 12 hours at a time. But it's uh, it was rewarding, you know. I, I won hundreds of thousands of dollars, and um, I, I want to be teaching other people how to do that because I I recognize exactly what poker can be for people. I, I will say that most people that try to be an, a high stakes professional poker player will not be successful, but that doesn't mean that each individual one of you isn't going to be successful. Like, be realistic, like find out if you have a knack for it, and if you don't, maybe you know poker can just be a hobby. Maybe you just don't play it at all. Uh, so if there's any other questions you have, please put them in the comments of this. I'll try and read every single one of them. Please do reach out on Instagram. If you live in Cairo, hit me up. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, enjoy enjoy yourselves, guys. Poker's a uh, poker's a beast. It really shows you who you are in in a bunch of different ways. So, peace, guys.